Hi guys, this is an introductory video in which I will be showcasing a new tool that is Informatica 2 ODI Automation. So this tool is divided actually into three parts. First is the exporting of Informatica workflow. In this, we connect with Informatica repository and explore, exports the required workflow in XML format. The second is the passing of that XML format that is Informatica workflow and create a simple Excel sheet out of it. So this Excel sheet will represent the mappings and the expressions in very simple format that the tool can understand and create ODI interfaces out of it. And the third we connect with the ODI repository and import the R Excel sheet and create uh, ODI interfaces out of that Excel sheet. To save some time, I have already created the Excel sheet. I will walk you through it. I have taken a classic example of employee, manager and the department name he or she belongs to. The sheet has two tabs and each tab represents a single interface. It might be yellow or blue. So this particular tab represents a blue interface as the target is the physical one and is a one-to-one -one mapping to our yellow interface that is SQ employee. Option I source. Uh, represents interface source. I have uploaded the guide online having ODI keywords that you can use in Excel that the tool can able to pass. Now coming to the second interface that is second tab, a yellow interface and the nasty one. So this particular tab will is having three sources, a temporary target that is SQ or HR employee, the expressions lookups, joins and the filter. So let me walk you through this particular tab. So this join condition we are using to join department and the employee and the job table. Okay. So the sources in here we get got is employees, departments and job. The employee name is concatenation of first name and the last name. Manager is concatenation again of the first name and last name, but we are getting the manager by applying a lookup on the employees table with this lookup condition. Uh, and uh, the employees department is on, as I already told that it's joined via these conditions. We apply a filter of all the employees that has a salary of greater than thousand. Okay, so it's pretty much clear from the Excel sheet what we are trying to do here. Now we will try to import this Excel sheet and create ODI interfaces out of this Excel sheet using our tool. So to do that, go to the third tab, click on the connection name. Let's check the connection first. Yeah, the connection is successful. So click on the next button. Okay, so in this particular step, we have to specify our Excel sheet. Browse for the Excel sheet that is employee.xls file. Okay, so this source model and the target model is the models in which our source and target tables resides. So as you can see, let me open the ODI. So as you can see, our source table resides in the HR model that is employees, departments and jobs. All these three tables resides in our HR model that our target table that is MW employee D resides in my WHS model. So we have to specify HR and my WHS here. Okay. Also, we can specify the source and target model in the Excel sheet as well. So if we have, have specified the source and target model in the Excel sheet itself, then we don't have to specify it again here. Okay, so let's check in the Excel sheet. So we haven't just specified the target model in the target. But as you can see in sources, we have specified the source model. So it will not matter if we specify HR in source model or not. But it will matter that we have to specify my WHS in the target model. Now let's put this particular mapping into the mappings folder. As you can see right now in Informat2 ODI project, we have two folders, components and mappings. Let's refresh this. As you can see, components and mappings are there in this particular project. Okay. So we have specified that this interface will go into the mappings folder and just execute it. As you can see, the interfaces is created successfully. Let's validate that in ODI. Just refresh it. Our interfaces will get created into the mappings folder. As you can see, we have two interfaces. One is blue and the yellow one. 
and it's just a replica of our Excel sheet. The, this particular blue interface is one to one mapping with our yellow interfaces that is SQ employee. Okay, let's check the yellow interface as well. As you can see in our Excel sheet, as I already uh, talked about, we have con employee name as concatenation of uh, first name and last name. Manager is concatenation of first name and last name. We have job title, we have department name, and we have lookup, filter, join conditions, and the sources. Okay, so it's just the same. Manager is the concatenation. Employee is the concatenation. We have department name. We have job title let's check for the sources we have three sources we have a lookup condition we have two joins we have a single filter that's employee salary is greater than thousand now let's check by executing this particular interface whether it's created successfully or not to open that we uh, let's me let me open a uh, sql developer first and truncate the target table that is W employee D. So as you can see, W employee D is truncated. Now let's execute this mapping. Log level is six. Okay. Session started now. Checking the logs. Okay, as you can see, the our mapping is uh, executed successfully. Let's validate it by going to our target table. Yeah, as you can see, the data has been flowed from the source to the target. The employee name is concatenation. Manager name is the concatenation. All the salaries are greater than thousand. We have respective department names and the job title. So that's pretty much uh, it from this video. I will be uh, showing you the complete flow from Informatica to the conversion and to the ODI into the next video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this tool in the comment section below.